Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Let's go ahead and practice some solar ignition today. I wanna to use this tablespoon that I got at the Goodwill store and shined up with this Blue Magic metal polish cream. And then I wanna show you how you can polish the bottom of an aluminum can and make it mirror enough to solar ignite with it. And I have leaves straight off the ground. Always wear shades when doing solar experiments. And the sun is right over here, it's 12 o'clock, so you're pretty much gonna have the spoon standing straight up. It may help you to find this on your finger first. All right, the focal point just got very, very bright, so I know I have an ignition. And that's really the only way that I can tell in this bright sun when it's ignited. And as with all my techniques, they are easily repeatable. Just get out there and give it a try and you'll find that out. I didn't see that ignition. I felt the heat blowing back on my fingers. That's probably gonna go to flames on its own. <clears throat> this is where a ham overlaps another ham. Sort of a fold right there. <clears throat> I could see very little up close now that I had the cataracts taken off, but they told me that would be an issue before I had the surgery. I think it's ignited, yeah. All right, just like when you polish anything, especially aluminum or stainless, just get a little dab on there and polish away and you'll see it immediately turn black. Just keep on going until you think you have it shiny enough. Usually two applications on an aluminum can gives you the best results. I want you to see what we're starting with. It works great too. People are forever saying that a chocolate bar toothpaste fine silt, fine clay. We'll polish this up. It will polish it up a little bit, but not as bright as, not as bright as this is going to be. Not as bright as it needs to be. That is almost there. Can you see the tripod upside down? Let's give it one more coat. It should be all we need. Let me buff this out.
and just keep on buffing it until there's no more black showing up on your white paper towel. And you know that you've got it as shiny as you can get it. Can you see the tripod now? Upside down? Let's give it a try. You can look at your shadow to see if you're in the full sun. I made one big long video one time, not realizing that the shade from branches had crept into the area and that I was not in full sun. So embarrassing to have my subscribers have to clue me in that I was in the shade, basically. It still worked though. Well. It's easy to do though. I can see the shadow of a branch right here. So if I was to do it right here, this wouldn't be full sun. Right here or right here would be. So let's do it up closer. Find it on your finger first. Right about there. It's not very hot because some clouds have just moved in. So let's just go for one ignition this time. Oh, I felt some heat. I needed to lower the can a little bit. Now I'm into that focal point and it just got very, very bright. Try it again. Make sure I'm in the direct sun. And you have to be careful about blocking the photons from getting to this solar collector because it's collecting the photons, bringing them to the center and reflecting them back out on this can about a half inch. So I can't like stick this in the way. I have to kind of try to get it on edge to get the best ignition. Let's see if that's it. Oh, the sun just went dim. Oh, it just turned very, very bright. Good. It is a real aggravation to not be able to see up close anymore. It's wanting to go to flames already. Hi, right, y'all. Do me a favor, before you leave my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and in that drop-down list, select all, and do give the video a like. I appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.